They are among the biggest explosions of radio energy in the entire universe. Stephen Hawking in his latest book says God bah humbug. He can prove the non-existence of God. One person would see something in the sky and say, look, Martha, look, there's something up there. Since late 2019, astronomers have noticed highly irregular dimming and brightening of Betelgeuse. Its light output decreased significantly, dropping by over 60% compared to normal levels. This dimming was visible even to casual night sky observers with Betelgeuse appearing noticeably fainter than other stars in Orion when viewed with the naked eye. By April 2020, Betelgeuse had returned to its normal brightness after months of diminished luminosity. Astronomers believed the strange dimming event had concluded. However, in a surprise development, Betelgeuse then increased in brightness by an unprecedented 50% just months after its great dimming. These abrupt changes in luminosity are radically different from Betelgeuse's normal variability patterns. As a semi-regular variable star, its brightness usually follows a predictable 400-day cycle with much smaller fluctuations. The recent dimming exceeded anything ever observed before for Betelgeuse. The subsequent brightening was also beyond anything recorded in modern astronomical records. Several hypotheses have emerged to explain this peculiar behavior including dust obscuration, pulsations in the star, and unusual sunspot activity. But there is no scientific consensus yet on the exact mechanisms driving the changes. Continued anomalous brightness shifts suggest the star is undergoing an extraordinary transformation, unlike anything observed in the last 200 plus years since Betelgeuse was first studied. The irregular variations have propelled the star back into the spotlight. Betelgeuse is expected to end its life in a dramatic supernova explosion, likely within the next 100,000 years based on its size and age. Some astronomers speculate this could happen within decades, given the unusual behavior of Betelgeuse signaling it is nearing the end of its life cycle. This would be the closest supernova to Earth since the SN 1604 explosion, observed by Kepler over 400 years ago. It would be the only supernova visible to the naked eye from Earth since then. A Betelgeuse supernova would likely shine with a peak apparent magnitude between 10 to 15, rivaling or surpassing the brightness of a full moon for weeks or months. It would be bright enough to be visible during daylight hours and cast noticeable shadows at night due to its luminosity. The supernova would blow apart the star's outer layers, ejecting gases rapidly moving outwards at up to 30 million kmHr. This would form an expanding supernova remnant nebula. Betelgeuse would be obliterated in our sky, with its former bright red supergiant status gone forever. This would visibly alter the Orion constellation from one of the most recognizable to looking foreign. After several months, the supernova would fade in brightness, but still be intensely visible. The shattered remnants of Betelgeuse's core would later form a planetary nebula discernible with telescopes. Due to the vast distance of approximately 650 light-years between Betelgeuse and Earth, we see the star as it appeared 650 years in the past. This is because it takes the star's light that long to traverse the distance of space and reach our solar system. Thus, the current real-time state of Betelgeuse is unknown to us. If Betelgeuse exploded into a supernova within the last 650 years, we simply have no way of knowing yet. The light from the hypothetical supernova is still journeying through space at 186,000 miles per second and won't arrive at Earth for several hundred more years. From our vantage point, Betelgeuse appears as it did around 1370-1410 AD during the late Middle Ages based on when its visible light left the star. Observations of the recent supernova, SN 2023 IKF in a nearby galaxy, provide clues for how Betelgeuse may appear and evolve when its supernova light finally reaches us. When the delayed supernova light from Betelgeuse does arrive in centuries, it will rapidly brighten over hours, days, as the wave front of light washes over the solar system. Future generations will suddenly witness Betelgeuse explode even if it already happened centuries ago, revealing the intriguing disconnect between real time and observable time in astronomy. The light we see from celestial objects provides a glimpse into the distant past, offering a unique time capsule perspective. 
Before the visible light from the Betelgeuse supernova reaches Earth, we may detect neutrinos and gravitational waves emanating from the explosion. Neutrinos are nearly massless particles that interact rarely with matter, enabling them to race across the galaxy at nearly the speed of light. Specialized neutrino detectors deep underground or underwater could pick up a surge in neutrinos from the supernova hours before light is observable. As the shockwave from the gigantic explosion propagates through space, it will create ripples in space-time known as gravitational waves. Gravitational wave observatories may be able to detect these cosmic tremors from the supernova's final death throes. Computer simulations predict a Betelgeuse supernova could generate detectable gravitational waves and neutrinos reaching Earth days to weeks before the visible light. This advance warning from neutrinos and gravitational waves will allow astronomers to prepare instruments and observe the supernova right from its earliest moments. The properties of the neutrino and gravitational wave signals could also reveal details about the cataclysmic mechanics of the explosion seconds after the initial blast. Other cosmic particles like cosmic rays may also surge ahead of the light waves at nearly light speed, offering additional advance notice through effects on Earth's magnetosphere. This multi-messenger advance notification will herald an unprecedented opportunity to study a nearby supernova across various mediums and wavelengths. The supernova is expected to produce a surge of cosmic rays, highly energetic particles that could collide with Earth's atmosphere. This may generate more auroras, but is unlikely to directly affect life. However, the cosmic rays may pose a threat to electronics and operations of satellites in high orbits and interplanetary spacecraft. Protective shielding may be prudent. Scientists will closely monitor the impact of the supernova radiation on Earth's magnetosphere and upper atmosphere. Changes in ionization and radiation could impact communications. The dramatic burst of neutrinos from the supernova will pass easily through the planet with minimal interactions. But specialized subterranean and underwater neutrino detectors on Earth will observe a marked spike. Gravitational wave-sensitive instruments will try to detect the space-time ripples from the cataclysmic implosion. The explosion mechanics of a supernova are poorly understood, and observing gravitational waves could reveal new insights. The visible light from the supernova will probably not cause any direct harm at our distance from Betelgeuse but it may impact spacecraft optics and observation-based activities on the night side of Earth. The environment around planets orbiting Betelgeuse would experience severe disruption, from sterilizing heat radiation to altering night-day cycles for centuries as the supernova remnant shines bright. If the core of Betelgeuse retains enough mass after the explosion, it may collapse into a black hole several times the mass of our Sun. This would create a nearby stellar mass black hole for astronomers to study and test predictions of general relativity and black hole formation theories. If the core mass is insufficient, it may form an incredibly dense neutron star remnant measuring only dozens of kilometers across, but with the mass of our Sun. This, too, would be an amazing object for further research. The expanding gaseous remnants of Betelgeuse would glow brightly as a supernova remnant nebula for thousands of years after the explosion, reshaping the Orion constellation. The shock wave from the explosion will heat surrounding interstellar gas and may trigger new star formation in neighboring molecular clouds. Astronomers will train their most powerful telescopes on the supernova, examining it across the electromagnetic spectrum from radio waves to gamma rays for decades. Such a nearby supernova will enable improved modeling and understanding of stellar evolution hydrodynamics of explosions, element formation via nucleosynthesis, and more. The supernova will also capture public interest and imagination as a vivid reminder of the impermanence of stars and our connection to the cosmos at large. It will inspire renewed art, literature, philosophy, and spirituality.